Hey, sweetie. My love bunny. My favorite person in the world. This is the fourth time I tried to call you. Which only came after eight texts, three snaps, an email, and a messenger pigeon. I just want to talk, honey. You're not in trouble, okay? I just want answers. But since you haven't been picking up, I've been forced to do a little detective work. You see, I noticed a few things missing from my wardrobe. My yellow pastel hoodie, my grey workout hoodie, my blue heated hoodie. Are you seeing the pattern here? 17 hoodies, all missing. It's a ludicrous number for it just to be a coincidence, right? I mean, sure, it's crazy that I even have 17 hoodies, but we both know that there is a very valid reason behind that. You always take them. Because whenever you come over, you go all raccoon that saw a shiny thing on me. And you start looking for any opportunity to snag a hoodie and flee the building. While I shower. When I sleep. Hell, one time you did it right in front of me and just ran! And then I always catch you and you're just doing something cute with them. So I let you keep them for a bit. And then they disappear off the face of the earth. But it would be unfair to just blame you. After all, I haven't heard your side of the story. Maybe a master home and maid broke into my apartment while you were there and stole all my hoodies and then kidnapped you. That would explain why you aren't responding. However, there aren't any signs of a struggle here. I have a mystery if you've covered her up on you, which is unlikely considering her incredible hearing. Or they knew you and you let them in. Unlikely, because none of your friends are hoodie thieves. I would know I started doing background checks. So then, I thought about some greater forces that could have made this situation. Maybe I've fallen into an alternate dimension. One where you never existed. So I never bought my 17 hoodies. Thus, nothing was stolen. And there would be no you to answer all my calls. One small problem, though. You left various pieces of evidence at the crime scene. The most damning of which being your house keys. Your house keys that live on the ring I bought you when we went on vacation. Now, I'm pretty sure alternate dimension me wouldn't be renting a second flat that was coincidentally your home. Maybe I do. I kind of just had some weird priorities in this new life. But I know for a fact that no version of me would be caught dead with a Florida-themed dolphin keychain. So I'm pretty sure that belongs to you. If that's the case, then we're left with one final option. You stole the hoodies, and in your hasty retreat, dropped your keys. Now, I don't think I need to explain why that would be awful for you, but I'm kind of villain monologuing anyway, so I will. If you don't have your keys, that means you can't go home. You always insisted on not keeping a spare key, and that's really coming back to bite you now. If you can't go home, then you'll be forced to meander until you can think of somewhere to stash the hoodies. If you found somewhere suitable, then you could return to my place, pretend to be shocked by the hoodie theft, and recover your keys to go finish the crime. And with this in mind, I'll be keeping your keys on my person. At any time, you can call, and I'll be happy to deliver them straight to you. All you would have to do is tell me your exact location and sit still. But, if I'm right about your involvement in Grand Theft Hoodie, then you wouldn't be willing to tone yourself in like that, will you? Fortunately, I planned for that too. You see, sweetheart, we've been together for a long time, and I love you very much, so I've been studying you quite a bit. Mostly unintentionally, but still, I've noticed a lot of little things about you. Like, what roads you prefer to avoid, what parking lots you know you can hide out in, what stores you like to look inconspicuous in. 
for parks you like, for shelter you visit. And here's the best one, that typically, you don't carry cash. In fact, you usually keep free cards in your wallet. Your debit, which should be near empty by now, it's nowhere near payday. Your credit, which you hate using because you're weird like that. And our shared checking account, which I can lock whenever I so choose. Do you remember when I topped over your tank a while back? I do. I remember that I filled your tank completely. Your 14 gallon tank. In your car, that gets an absolute maximum of 26 miles to the gallon. I've been doing the math, and between your commute, the outings we've taken this week, and the back and forth of visiting each other, I think you've got about 30 miles left. Tops. It's probably been about 15 minutes since you committed for crime. So if you've been driving this whole time, then you're getting dangerously low on gas, with no chance for a refill in sight. And I imagine you'll listen to this voicemail as soon as I finish recording it. So you'll realize everything I said is true, and that I'm right on your tail. You'll panic and try to do the most unpredictable thing you can think of before it's too late. I can practically see you now. Hell, you're probably wearing a red hoodie. I know it's your favorite. Probably driving south so the sun won't be in your eyes. Maybe you stop for food at that Mexican place. And number three with a large Sprite, right? And then you heard all this, and then took a left turn at the next light, since you normally hate turning across traffic. And now, you're kicking yourself because I've been reading you like a book. Does that all sound about right? It's fine that you aren't here to answer, because I know I'm right. So, I'm gonna hop in my car and catch up to you. You're not in danger. I'm not gonna do anything drastic. I'll just be taking my hoodies back. Then we can gas up your car and do something fun tonight. I'm thinking... Hmm... Something involving solving a GPS trackers? <laughs> oh well, we'll figure it out together. See you soon, honey. Hey guys and gals, um... Zan here, and before I say anything else, uh, I just want to say thank you uh, to Splashiest Pig for writing this script. It was very cute, and yeah, I don't know, it's just just a dumb script. Uh, so yeah, um, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed. But I know it was like a teeny bit different from usual. Like, ooh, it's a voicemail thing, and ooh, it's like iced on your hoodies, haha, <laughs> all of that shit. I don't know. Um, yeah, but anyway, um, yeah, how, how are you guys doing today? You guys having a good day so far? Yeah? Uh, my day's been fine, I guess. I don't know, it, it's just been fine. Like, it's just been a normal day. Just a normal day. Just a normal, normal day. Um... Very boring, yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Uh, yeah, but it's just been a very standard day. Nothing crazy, nothing special. Just, just, a, just a day. Um. So yeah. Anyway, um. I'm trying to think of what to say now. Fuck. Uh, work was like really just same, same old, same old, you know, but it's, it's a bit boring to say the least. I don't really know what to say, man. I'm going fucking insane. Um, I guess I have a company meeting tomorrow. That's going to be interesting, I guess. I don't know. I guess it's just a, just a, just a, a, a meeting. Fucking hell, I can't speak. Um, so, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, I really don't know what to say, 
Uh, I'm kind of glad we have a meeting tomorrow though, because like, uh, what's it called? Usually when we have company meetings, yeah, they last about like 40 minutes or something. And it usually means that uh, I don't have to do, you know, you know, I can just sit around for 40 minutes, do nothing, listen to the meeting and get paid. I get paid to sit down and do nothing. That's like the best. Oh shit, I clicked the wrong thing. I get paid to sit down and do nothing. What's better than that? There's nothing better than that. You're right. I know. I can hear you right now. You're talking to me, right? No? Oh, shit. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck, I really don't know what to say. <laughs> uh, I'm going insane. Mommy, sorry. Mommy, sorry. Oh, by the way, um, don't know if you noticed, but I have a Twitter, and you can follow me on Twitter. I post kind of often. Most of the time, I'm just like saying random shit or liking other people's stuff, but still, I have a Twitter, so it'd be nice if you could check it out. You don't have to check it out, of course, but I'm just saying. Um, yeah. Using that a lot more. Not a lot more, but like, yeah, I still hate Twitter to death. Wait, 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 let's do, let's do question of the day. Um, what do you guys think of Twitter? Twitter. Twitter, like the, the blue bird app. You know what I mean. What, what, what do you guys think of it? Um, I would say like, I don't know, I don't really like Twitter. I mean, I don't, I, I mean, I admire the concept, I guess, but, you know. Um, yeah, I buy the concept of Twitter, like, oh, it's just a place of people to talk, I guess, like any social media, really, but, any social media, really, but, uh, yeah, the people in there are fucking weirdos, and they're so horrible, like, ooh, the amount of times I've seen people freak out about, like, I don't know, like, some person doing some innocent thing, and they get roasted to death for, and shit like that, you know, cancelled and all of that. Like, you know, they'll, they'll bring up some thing that happened, like, eight years ago. That a person said eight years ago and go, Oh my god, this person's racist. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then, you know, their whole, co their whole career fucking dies. You know, it's probably going to happen to me one day. Who fucking knows? Um, yeah, like... I admire the concept, but I hate the people on there. I mean, most of them on there. You can find good people, but like, you know, it's weird. Like, you can't, it's Twitter, man. Like, what the fuck are you supposed to do on Twitter, you know? Like, ah, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Um. Yeah, I just do not like Twitter. It's very sus. <gasps> like Among Us. Like Among Us. Among Us. Among Us. Oh, that's what I was looking shit. This video is gonna do so shit. This video is gonna do so shit, I can already tell. Like, I don't even know what the fucking title of this. Well, like, uh, your boy boyfriend finds out you stole his hoodies? I don't fucking know. Like, what do I even do for this, man? I mean, um, this is... I'm... Uh, I'm sorry about this. This one's gonna be dog shit. Um, yeah, I don't really know what else to say, so... I think I'm just gonna end this now. Um, thank you for listening, even though oh, this one was shit. This is gonna do so shit. Um, yeah, sorry. Uh, anyway, um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hope you guys have a nice day. Yada yada yada. All that stuff. Bye bye. Love you, ma.